Give me a little soft sauce. Now, I've been up here a little bit and I've broken up all their lettuce. And I just came back to check on Easter's food supply. And this cute little rascal's been following me around like my dad again. Such a sweet little dumpling. Now, here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> See if I can set this up someplace and have ourselves a nice little cuddle. Come on, Flopsa. Mm, look at all that, Twinkie. <laughs> Good size, Twinkie. Now, that's the nice vision of my bird's butt. How do you like that? I'll tell you what. What I'm going to do, I'm going to point his butt the other way. Ah, uh, maybe we'll stop. <laughs> Sorry, so sorry, me soft soft. <laughs> now, now, soft soft. Oh. Yeah, he's acting funny because he's ready to mate, and I think that's a. Uh, that's what he's uh, making all that noise about. He's, you know, why I say um, goose hawk so much in the springtime because they're horny. <laughs> That's how they show you they're horny. They honk a lot. They honk a lot. Yep, that's right. My horny goose, huh? Poor baby. Oh, he's got all these hormones and stuff. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? He's all excited. I can't get him to sit still. Oh my goodness. Well, why don't I just write you in my lap. I'll do a, a chest to chest cuddle. Huh? Big, soft, poofy woof. Big, soft, poofy woof. Aww. My love right here. Oh, right there. So soft in there. Yeah. It's a fine privilege, let me tell you this. A fine privilege. Yeah. Uh, now what I want to do is get my soft little poofy woof over to the food dish before it gets empty. So we're going to do that right now. Soft, let's go. There we are, kind of. I had to stop and take my hat off, boy. Woo. It's um, a whole 30 degrees out, and I'm dressed for 10 degrees. Okay, now, I noticed um, a few geese are missing, which are the ones who can fly. I noticed the daddy, ba the daddy Canada goose and the couple of babies were hanging around until we got really cold. It got down into the single digits overnight. So now the only Canada geese on the property are the ones who cannot fly. Now this girl here is Mama Bird. No, she's not Mama Bird. So there's three birds out here that got a big bad case of angel wing and you can tell real clearly as soon as you see them. But there's Mama Bird. She's got a mild case of angel wing, but still bad enough she can't fly away. Then there's the uh, domesticated geese. They can fly about a few feet off the ground if they want to. But that's who's left. So we are down to, let's see, we got four domestic, a ducky, and we got four Canada geese down here. So eight geese, one duck. Now this is the skeleton crew. I was trying to say that before when the babies were down, but these guys are the ones that definitely ain't going no place anytime soon. So then there's little Easter. He wants all the attention. If he sees me talking to another goose, he gets right in the middle of that and honks, honks, honks. It's like, hey man, don't pet that goose. Pet this goose. Yeah, yeah. My soft little poofy woof. <laughs> My glasses are fogging up. Boy, I've been working up a sweat out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just having a good old time at the ducky pond. Aww. Well, it was kind of bugging me because Easter was running away from me for a while. He started kind of 
blended in with these other geese and just started running away from me and acting like them. Now he's all over me. He follows me all around the yard. Don't want to let me pet another goose. Oh my goodness. So, anyways, things seem to be hunky-dory down here at the goose pond. We got a frozen pond here. It's safe to walk on because it's been freezing. Freezing cold. Uh, well, good thing these guys got each other because, you know, they can snuggle up. They, uh, a lot of times I see geese sit next to each other. They can go in the birdhouse. And I got that little shelter up in the back for Easter and his girlfriend if they want to use it. So I kind of wonder who all uses that shelter because I'm never here to see it. But I sure hope that um, little Easter and his girlfriend know that they can go up there. Yeah, little Easter. Looked like he was coming over to the water. Now, they got a little bit of water peeking out over there where the heater's at. So hopefully, they're going to be really happy to enjoy this bucket of water today. So I'm going to stop it right here and I'll talk to you soon.